What's up guys, Scott Martin here, Scott Martin Challenge. We're back again on the shores of Rainy Lake here in International Falls. Rainy Lake Houseboats and Thunderbird Lodge. This show is gonna be amazing. My special guests and challengers on this show are the Lucky Tackle Box crew. Who am I talking about? You've seen them on YouTube. These guys are big with all their fishing videos and all the cool stuff they're doing. Noah Pescatelli, Tyler Anderson, and Andrew Flair. We're gonna match those guys up with myself, my dad, and Gussie, Jeff Gustafsson. This guy's a hammer stud on this lake. I even brought the Pro Car War Machine ready for battle. Angler of the Year, Scott Martin. Oh my God! Wow! I'll tell you what, guys, isn't this an amazing place? We pulled up here, you know, this morning houseboats parked here on this island, middle of Rainy Lake. We're gonna have an absolute ball tomorrow. It's gonna be one of the most memorable fishing trips of your life, for sure, because this lake is amazing. This is gonna be such a cool trip, you know. Taking the houseboats out on Rainy Lake, camping on the islands, dragging the big rangers behind the boat. I mean, this this is the way to experience this, this fishery right here. It's gonna be so much fun. We actually have the Traeger grill. We're cooking, we're eating breakfast out there, getting up in the morning, right there on the water, ready to go. You know, I've been filming a long time. This is the neatest production. I mean, there's two big houseboats. There's uh, five or six boats. There's like 18 or 19 people. This is like the biggest production I think I've ever been on. So, Andrew and I for team one. Dad, I'm gonna put you with Noah. Noah, <laughs> hey man, you're the stick. Hey, man, we're gonna win this thing. You're going with the legend, dude. Him and I fished together in a challenge last year. He is a fantastic fisherman. So, it's gonna be awesome. Tyler. Dude, that means we're together. That means That's we're right. together, oh, buddy. You get the hammer stud right there. Let's go, heck yeah. That's the hammer stud, Rainy Lake hammer stud. Am I pumped to get out fishing this morning? Big time. We're gonna take on the greatest of all time, Roland, and we're taking on the number one ranked bass guy in the world, Scott, and we're on my home water now. So I get my butt whipped by Scott all season long on the FLW tour. Today, we're in my world. I'm gonna make it real simple. We're gonna do a Lucky Tackle Box Challenge tomorrow. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our best four fish on conventional tackle, however you wanna catch them, your best four bass, okay? Your fifth bass, your limit, has to be caught on a lure inside this Lucky Tackle Box. Oh, that, that's gonna yeah, be Yeah, it's full of all kind of cool that's things. That's gonna be a, a piece of cake. All right, here you go. Gussie, there's your box. Dad, there's your box. So when I started thinking about this challenge, I thought, what a great place this will be to bring these boys up, let them experience the great smallmouth fishing here, catch lots of fish, maybe a big pike, big muskie. It's gonna be a lot of fun, man. Open it up in the morning when you're ready to catch your fifth one, and we'll see you on the dock first thing. You ready, boys? All right, dude, this is where rubber meets the road, my friend. We gotta get it done. Let's do it. My dad is deadly when he gets dialed in. Gussie is the man. Yes. So we have our work cut out for us, dude. I mean, I'm ready. But if we can take Gussie down, I mean, that is major. Like, we'll be the we'll be the Rainy Lake champions of the whole universe if we do that. I've got hundreds of days on this water. It's not my home lake, but I've fished here a lot, and we're going to catch some big smallmouths today. Yeah, I'm ready. Scott's in big trouble. Roland's in big trouble. Scott does not have any of these. Little black marabou jig. Ooh. And unfortunately for him and for Roland, they're going to see what happens when I have one. So let's get out there. Do it, man. You ready? Yeah. All right. So Lucky Tackle Brock spot four of us fishing YouTubers up here, and I think this challenge is a good way to see, you know, who's the best fisherman of, of us all. This Rainy Lake's an awesome place to fish. So many good smallmouth. You know, down in Texas, I don't have smallmouth, but I'm just looking forward to going out there and, you know, whooping the other YouTubers. Biggest toothy critter, too. So if we get a big musk, muskie or a big pike, yeah, it's going to give us an extra pound, dude, and that's, that's important. That'll help. I love catching smallmouth, love catching pike, but Scott told me that there's a chance to catch a muskie. That's something I've never done. I'm super excited. You had, one, you had one swirl at your top. Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh, it's a smallmouth, dude. A little baby smallmouth. Oh, baby. You got the baby. I mean, some of these little ones are. That first fish in the boat? First fish in the boat, boys. Aha. That's not going to win nothing today. But first fish, we're gonna be winning all day long. You know, I can't believe Scott actually followed us instead I of going, he was going to go around the other side. 
He's yeah. fishing right behind us. Yeah. Here we go. I got one. You got one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the doubles on pike. Hey, all right, son. <laughs> we got the pike deal figured out. Son, I'll tell you, these you are need fun. these big guys. Fun fish. You know, to be gusty, dude, we're gonna we're really gonna need 18 plus pounds. You know, he's gonna catch Definitely. a big bag of fish. You know, this morning, you know, we'll start off kind of mixing it up between, you know, tubes and top water spinner baits. But this afternoon when it warms up, that top water bite really gets strong. Hey, you can't be cutting us off. Oh, son. We got one. Swing in, swing in. Uh, dude, they're just cutting us off, man. Yeah. Andrew, come on, dude. You're in charge. Make this thing move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm swinging on the boat. All right. Okay. That's one we'll Good job. I will. All right, that's a start. It's a start. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Trocar, the world's sharpest fish hook, Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time, and by the Evinrude E-Tech G2, now available from 150 to 300 HP. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Costa Del Mar. See what's out there. Okuma Fishing Tackle. There's no stopping Okuma. And by Garmin Pan Optics All Seeing Sonar. Join the pros who switch to Garmin. You know, Roland, I mean, Scott's, Scott's a really great pro, and Gussie, you know, he's a really great local, but, you know, I don't think they have a chance. <laughs> I tell you what, if we get those big smallmouth going on that top water plug, they're in trouble. That was a bass. Oh. Oh my goodness. I was reeling it in, and I just happened to look down and see him take it. Yeah, that was a giant, hey? Oh my gosh, yes. Wow. Four pounder? That was at least a four pounder. How did he not take it? He just had it by maybe one, one tiny yeah. pebble in the back. Oh okay, man. Okay, good sign. Wow. We just started. We just had a giant. Yeah. Oh, oh, bro. What happened? Oh, no, I got him. Good, what the good, heck? Good, good, I got him, I got him. He's stuck in those weeds. All right. He's really small, but so what? Bass in the boat. It doesn't matter, because it's momentum, baby, and that's what we need. And then, ooh. Yeah, that, is that a good one? That's a better one. Yeah, that one looks good. That's a better one. Yeah, that's a that's, There you go, man. That's a better one. He's not real big. Uh, yeah, he's a little better. A little he's little better than that last one. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Swing him in. There you go. Much better. Good job. Better. Oh, boy, I'm just for the heck of it. He's just. And there you go. Little guy. Yeah. Oh. Came off. That's all right. I was kind That's of just trying to. Got one. Big one. Nicer. Get in the boat. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Good two pounder to start it off. We're in a little top water flurry here on top of a shoal. We couldn't really see it, so we kind of landed right on top of it. Come on. And I can't grab his mouth because he's got a bunch of troubles in it. And we need to look in that lucky tackle box here in a second and see what we got. Okay. Oh, 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 here we go. Reel your, uh, reel your spinnerbait in and throw your tube real quick. Get it, get it, get it. He's a little one. Oh, he got it. Oh, he pulled off. Throw, reel your tube in, reel your tube in. Throw it right there. Throw it right on my bait, right past my bait. Reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it. He's got it. Oh, he dropped it, he dropped it, he dropped it. He hit it. Got him. Nice. <laughs> a little follow up. He's just a little one. That wasn't, that wasn't the one that I missed the first time. No, I don't think so either. All right, Roland, we got to get that lucky tackle box. That's fish right, that's part of the rule. With. We have to catch a fish on, on, on that, on some lure. So I don't know, we have in to see what's in there. We don't, we don't really know what's in there yet. See there's got to be a couple of things in there. There's, it looks like a good collection of them. I looked at another one, and it had a great collection. So we'll see what we have here. Ooh, that's a good one. That's really good. All right, we're making our first move. 
Uh, we had a little bit of action on the first spot, so that's good. Some top water, all on top water, really. Yeah. Got one little guy on a jerk bait. Scott's blocking a channel off here, so we're just trying to trying to sneak by. I think he's trying to block us out a little bit. Watch, we'll see what kind of BS he gives us here. You guys catch any yet? No, but I did have a big, a nice smallie on, and it broke me off. Did he run up on a rock, broke it off, and he's jumped a couple times out here. We caught a couple little ones and uh, had one big one freight train at the boat when he was reeling in fast, so they're around. Tie better knots. <laughs> hey, Andrew, nice pants. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Got him, dude. That's a big one. Big small That's, a big big small That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. He's not hooked great. So please stay on. Yes. Nice, dude. Good work. Good work. Oh, fatty. There's got to be more out there, man. That vein of rock goes right out. Okay, don't go too far. You stay right there, even if you're hung up. Okay. Nice. Closed captioning for the Scott Martin Challenge is provided by Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. From high-performance coolers to insulated tumblers, Angle has what you need to keep your next challenge seriously cool. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by P-Line, delivering the leading edge of quality high-performance fishing line. Power Bowl, swift, silent, secure. And by Activity Click App. Enjoy your sports with others. Click and connect for free. Hey guys, are you hungry for more adventure? Join us on our YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook page. We'll take you behind the scenes. And for tips and techniques and more, please visit scottmartinchallenge.com. All right, Roland, I think I'm gonna go with this little swim bait. Put that on a jig head, I think it'll catch this big smallmouth. It's good. Oh, that's a good looking bait. All right. Let's get it. Okay, this time, it's time for that lucky tackle box fish. Opened it up, saw that swim bait. Yeah. That's gonna catch him. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. It's a giant one, dude. Get get my grab my tube. Grab my tube. I don't know where it is, but grab it's a five pounder, dude. I'm not kidding. It's a gigantic one. It's a gigantic one. Go okay. right there. There are the bubbles. It's a monster, dude. I'm not kidding. It's the biggest one I've ever seen here. He just he grabbed the whole thing, man, and I, I don't know what happened. If we can get that fish right there, that because it's hard to get a fit. A true over four is hard to get up Definitely. here. These northern lakes, Definitely. there's a lot of three and a halves, and there's quite a few fours. But to get an over four, that's like bonus weight. As many days as I've spent on Rainy Lake, the area of the lake we're fishing today, I've never really fished down here before. So uh, this looks really good. We got some boulders, a little bit of grass. Um, some little points sticking out. So this is the kind of stuff, you know, it's high profile. If this area is good, there's gonna be fish on, on this kind of really good looking stuff. So let's get up there. Ooh, smally. You got it, Roland. Yes, that's, that's there on, you go. That's, that's, that's a lucky a fish. That's a lucky fish. That's a lucky fish. There you go, Roland. That's a lucky bait. Good job. That one? Fish on. What you got? I don't know. Get a pike. pike. Oh, pike. Everybody loves those. We do got to weigh one of these for our toothy bonus. That is but true. that's not going to win us that. I but we so. got to get it on the board anyways. Yes, we do. I'd like to catch one like 11 or 12 pounder, get it done, and then not see another one of those today. But when you come fish up here in Canada, I don't care where you go, you're gonna catch some pike. Dude, we gotta stay put. Oh, he's, there's one underneath it. Reel your bait in, reel your bait in. So I'm twitching that top water along and all of a sudden a gigantic explosion comes up. I've got the biggest fish in the lake on, for sure. This thing is giant. Oh, it's the biggest dude, smallmouth I've ever seen in my life, dude. Oh, it's a big one. I don't know how I've got him hooked. Oh, it's a big pike. That's a big pike. Oh, wow. And it's a big one, dude. Oh, it's a dude, big it's one. It's a real, real big one. I thought it was a smallmouth. This is this is bonus points right here, dude. Giant pike. When he hit it, I just because of that. The other one was a smallmouth for sure, 100%. But look at this thing. 
Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. An absolute tank. So what I do is when I'm, you know, this braid is tough, but you never know with those teeth. So I always do thumb drag when I get close to the boat like this. Yep, let them surge. Yeah. And that way, let's let your thumb do it, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness, dude, this is a big one. It's an absolute giant. Really big fish, man. Really big fish. Got him, dude. Oh yeah, Got bonus him. fish, baby. That's bonus, baby. Woo! That's bonus. Let's get it. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. The giant pike, baby. That's awesome. Yep, 11.02. Nice. 11.02. Right. Unclip him. Look Let's at that let fish. fish go, dude. That's a beautiful, Gorgeous beautiful fish. fish right there. We gotta get that fish back in the water. You know, you really wanna take care of these fish. I mean, a big fish like this, it's hard to unhook them, it's hard to land them. But, you know, you wanna just take your time, be real smart like that, and let him get his, get him strength back. Dude, that is nice potentially work. a bonus pound, nice and that work. is important, because we need everything we can get. Now, there's a smallmouth here that's big like that, because that one that hit me was a four and a half pound, five pound smallmouth. Wow, what an exciting deal that was. Whoo! That was good stuff, boys. That was good stuff. You've seen me catch a lot of fish over the years on the Trocar hooks. And for your widest selection anywhere, be sure to stop in your local Bass Pro Shops where they'll have all your bases covered, like the TK-130 flipping Hook, one of my favorite ones. Or visit them online at BassPro.com. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by StarTron. StarTron enzyme fuel treatment cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. Deck. In-vehicle storage systems keep your tackle and gear dry, secure, and organized. And by MPAC. Fish more, snag less. Double up. Double up on bass. It's pretty early in the day. We've got our five fish. Now it's really time to upgrade. This is a whole, whole different ball game now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> dude, what we should do now that I know where the rock is. It's like, go right there, right now. Just go right to the rock. <laughs> and then like in an hour, they're gonna say, where'd you go? No, we're good, we got a big old bag though. <laughs> Cause they said check in in an I'm hour. I'm totally down. <laughs> All right, update. We have two in the box and one really good bonus fish. And then in a minute, we need to pull out Lucky Tackle Box, dude, and see what we got going. Because that's also the second difference maker. Catching something big on the Lucky Tackle Box stuff is gonna seal the deal for us. That's a big one. Get out of that grass. The LTB boys better be catching them because I'm flipping these big fish in in the spook. It's a blast. Yeah, that's the kind we need. That's the kind we need. Wow. Right now I'm gonna flip them in. Okay, yeah, he's got two hooks. Yes! Yeah, buddy! That's what I'm talking about right there. All right. Sweet. My little Texas buddies coming through on oh, the smallies. Yeah. You know, we don't got big smallmouth in Texas. But up here at Rainy Lake, Rainy Lake houseboats, we'll catch fish like that. Sweet. Okay, we've got our four fish in the boat. It's time to bust out the lucky tackle box and uh, catch our fifth fish on one of those baits. Yep. What are you thinking? I could definitely catch one on that black grub and on that popper. Yeah. All that stuff you could catch a fish on. Definitely. But... All right, update. We have two in the box and one really good bonus fish. And then in a minute, we need to pull out Lucky Tackle Box, dude, and see what we got going, because that's also the second difference maker. Catching something big on the Lucky Tackle Box stuff is gonna seal the deal for us. Hair jig. I told you that's where these big ones were. Yes. They're biting my hair jig. It's only a matter of time it's gonna be Mr. Big. I see a small one that's coming out. Yeah, there you go. There's an upgrader. Definitely an upgrade. <laughs> Oh my God, big musk, or big pike. You know, last night we went over the rules, we understood the, the big toothy critter rule, so that's our game plan. Trying to get a big toothy critter for a bonus, and then all these big smallmouth, and particularly top order. I love a top order bite, and I love big smallmouth. This is our biggest one. Uh -oh. I'm gonna let him go. It's a good one. Got him? That's a good one, sure. Oh gosh, it's a giant. Oh man. It's a giant. It's a good fish, good fish. Oh God. Oh, get your tube, get your tube, hurry. Drop your tube down. Just drop it in the water. 
Oh my gosh, dude. Hurry, drop your tube right there. There's a five pounder with him, four pounder with him. Just drop it down, just let it sink. Throw it right here on my bait. He just jumped off. Oh, drop it down. Just drop it down in there. There was a bigger one with him. Wow, that was intense, man. We pull up, boom, three pounder, four pounder underneath him, then boom, four pounder on. Ah, it's crazy. Oh my goodness. I hope that's a bass. I actually got a bass on it. <laughs> I will take that as our lucky tackle box fish. That is for sure. That's a nice one. <laughs> See if you can grab him. Grilling him or something. Just get him up in the Come moment. on, baby. Yeah. Yes. There wow. we go. <laughs> first cast with the. Uh, the that was the first cast? First cast with the little <laughs> live target popper. We had to get a, a fifth fish out of our limit on a, a lucky tackle box bait, and I'll take it. Wow. And we're catching so many fish in, in this show that I, I just can't quit. I mean, to be honest with you guys, we can't put in all the action that we, we've caught in a 30 minute show. We're stretching this thing out. We're stretching it out. We're going till dark on this thing, and we're gonna take these guys down. So we got these fish figured out. We're pumped to go into round two. You guys are going down. Boys, Noah and I are gonna find that big school and we're gonna whip your butt.